Hello guys, Mr. Orange here and welcome back to the bunker. So looks like we're going to be doing another system checkup. So before we do that, I want to check these drawers right here. So before we're going to do, no, before we're going to go on your computer and do this, this checkup system or whatever it's called, we're going to check these drawers right here because I'm kind of curious what is inside of them and maybe there's something inside of them. Maybe something. Let's go here. Is that a diary? My diary. My old diary. Oh, that's Today nice. Today is my birthday, and I have had extra peaches, my favorite. And there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colors. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy it is my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I am a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he's a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. Damn, Bishop is a, such a not nice guy. Like, he had his birthday, and now... Look what is Bishop doing. I just hate that guy. Like, like I don't want him in my face. Like, even in real life, or let's say, if he's a real person, I just don't want to see him. But, damn, also, good thing to know, he loves peaches. Or, let's say, the guy that we are playing right now actually loves peaches. So, good to know. What is inside here? I don't need new underwear right now. Oh, you didn't need... <laughs> well, that's a convenient place. You just need, you just need to place these underwears, underwear right here. Just right in this spot. Okay. Well... There's nothing interesting here except for that diary, so let's check on the on the let's just check on our uh, computer. How is everything doing here in the bunker? I'm just gonna type in some codes. System check running. Okay, everything seems to be okay. Uh, oh no, fail. Air filtration. <gasps> no way. What do I do? That's really bad. Um, okay, air filter unit A level four. I would say fall and repair immediately. So we have a defected air filter. That's really bad. Okay, he's also sweating. Um, I need to find an NBC suit. That's a good idea. Uh, so do you have to go there? Uh, let me check if there's an NBC suit right here. That actually looks like it, maybe. I don't have an NBC suit. Uh, okay, well, I just wanted to see it. That looks like, kind of like an NBC suit, but not. So, uh, where do you have to go? I need an NBC suit before I can go to level 4. Okay, well, I know that. So we have to try to find it somewhere here. But, um, let's see. Can we actually go back here? Like, is there not... Uh, oh yes, we can. Uh, what is this? Oh, now we're going back to the. I think we're going to the storeroom or the sig bay. Oh yes, we are. Um, should we go first into the sig bay? I'm maybe gonna go there because uh, maybe it could be there. You never know. So I'm just gonna open this door nice and easy. Oh wow, this place looks bloody. Oh god. Something bad happened here. Well, I bet that. L look how much blood there is everywhere. Uh, okay, we have a clipboard with some papers and also blood on the hands. Or some blood. Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday AM, vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest. Temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees. Blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review, possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. That doesn't sound good, great. Like, radiation sickness is like the worst thing you can ever have in your body. Or let's say it's not really the worst thing, but let's say it's very bad. Like, you really don't want to get radiation sickness. But, uh... Except for that, can we go inside of the emergency room? Can we that go inside? That door only opens in an emergency. Oh yeah, well that's to be expected. Uh, what is this? So we have a radiation uh, ration no warning map or I'm radiation. Safe. Oh, it's a oh, it's a radiation warning map. So uh, yeah, I don't see any radiation. I don't see any bad things going on. So I think we maybe have to go to the war room to get all our stuff because when I, when I think about a war room, there's maybe some uh, so maybe some NBC suits or whatever whatever it's called. It's maybe there. I hope we can go back. That I hope we can go to level three because um, 
Because last time, like, he was kind of sick and he wasn't that feeling that great. Like, he didn't want to go to downstairs. But, uh, I hope we can, can't, I hope we can do that today. But, uh, some beans. Can we, can we eat some? Can we eat some? Nothing in here but beans. Okay, well, then no beans. Come on, just eat this. Nothing in here but beans. Okay, well, okay, then don't worry. Okay, um, what is that? I don't need the toilet right now. Okay, well, I just want, I just want to know. Uh, what is that? A clipboard. The storeroom. What? Almost 12,846 sardines? Are you kidding me? You're not eating those sardines? It's like the best thing ever, except if you eat it almost every day. But, uh, like, I know he loves peaches. He said that on his diary, or let's say he was his... It's his favorite food, but uh, there's not a lot of those left. O only a lot of uh, sardines, bank baked beans, and peas and carrots. Also very delicious. But okay, um, except for that, there's also nothing here to see, except for... Uh, a lot of stuff here, a lot of toilets and a lot of box full of food, but why is it a storeroom? It's supposed to be a uh, bathroom because I see some toilets and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go back and maybe we're gonna go to the war room because uh, that's the only place we haven't been really looking at so much. So, uh, okay, let's just bring that down here and let's just go to the third floor or the level three floor. Okay, so please don't fall from those stairs, nice and easy. Um. Yeah, I hope he's not gonna be scared le as last time. So, uh, if we can, if, like, if I, if we can't, I'm, okay, sorry if I'm just saying a lot of random things, but, uh, except for that, let's try to go down here. Come on, just, there you go. Oh, wow, okay. I don't like, I really don't like the red color. Or the red light that's just shining. Calm down. You need to do it. Well, of course you need to do it. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Be a man. Nice and slowly, you can do this. Air conditioning mode. I see signs saying that right behind them. Okay, so there we go. Level three. That's pretty dark. Look how dark is it inside. Damn. I can't even see, see a single thing. Okay, nicely done. Good job. Okay, well, looks like we're moving on to the... I think we're going to the war room. So, uh, level three. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's just turn on the light. Uh, okay, let's just turn on this. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this place. The war room. Well, it doesn't look like a very nice place to be in, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the main table here. What are those, like, wooden thingy? It's not like a boss. Oh, what do we have to do here? Oh, we have to choose one of them. Uh, I'm gonna take the middle one. Cause I, I really like Drew to take Mark, the middle one. You can be right at the front with the tanks. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from or how it will spread. We have no cause. We have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with there it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, you understand me? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. What's that? Cooling system. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop, I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. Damn, that was pretty close. We almost got caught there with our hand. We almost got uh, red-handed right there. But okay, damn, Bishop is a really, like, sorry I have to say say this, but he's a dick, like, literally. He just, like, just shouted in front of a professor or a doctor right in front of his face, so... 
That's not nice of him. That's really not nice of him. Okay, but what is this board? I'm kind of curious. Looks like a big map. What we don't know for certain is the contamination levels. We can calculate the likely fallout and its effects, but we don't have any good model for anthrax spore spread, or even how it's affected by radiation. Look, look, we do know from reports at AE3 in Oxford that anthrax was used in Wave 3. We've just got no idea of the extent of it. It's not as if we can go up and test anything. We can't even count the bodies. Not even the bodies? Damn. Uh, okay, we have another map here. What is this? Uh, okay, it looks like a map. Where is this place? Like, where are we? Um, Tickleham or Tickenham? 10,945 confirmed deaths? And there's one place here? Wow. What is this? Oh, the... Hang on. I know the... Hang on. The London airport it doesn't say how much deaths, but that's for, that, that's uh, interesting to know. Uh, what is this? Wow. 6,784 confirmed deaths. Damn. A lot of people have died here in this area, but except for that... Oh, I see a collectible. <gasps> Can I grab the collectible? Soldier. Yes. Okay. Soldier. My bravest fighters... Okay. My bra bravest... Okay, bravest fighters. I call him Rocky. <laughs> I just like that name, <laughs> Rocky. I, actually, that name reminds me of something. But uh, except for that, can we go here in the back? Ooh, yes, we have an emergency access only. Well, we can't go there, but this looks like we can go inside here. Please say we can go inside here. Yes, we can. That's perfect. Okay, that's oh, it's so dark. I can't see. Turn on the light. Okay, well, <laughs> those are some flashbacks. I didn't expect that to happen, but okay. Uh, this looks like a NBC suit or whatever it's called. Let me actually, what are those boxes? Oh yeah, it's called an NBC suit safety guideline. So, in the event of a nuclear radiation leak, the following items is required for completing pro uh, complete protection. So, uh, protective clothing, respir um, respirating equipment, or whatever it's called, gas max, no gas mask and all that stuff and then a Geiger counter that's also very important when you go to a very radioactive place but uh, except for that I think that's the Geiger counter that looks like a very old-fashioned one yeah that looks also a little bit dirty but uh, except for that it may I hope it works okay and that's the suit that, that we need so uh, we're gonna take that but also you need to look for holes because uh, if, if your suit has holes inside radiation can get, pretty much get in every piece of clothing and there's like a little hole they can still get through that so uh yeah I hope there's any holes inside of it so uh yeah we already got the clothing so what we can do now is go to the second floor or uh, floor le or level four so that's kind of a good thing so now we have the clothing the the Geiger counter and all the all the things that we need is to go, to go down there to the cooling system and I think we have to replace uh, replace some air conditioning so uh Okay. Don't stand there. Just put your clothes on. Okay. Just nice and snug. Put that on. Okay, I don't see any... Any holes inside. Okay, don't look at the mask. Damn, that's terrifying. Just stop thinking about stuff. Just put your clothes on and just go down here. Okay, finally. Okay. Just stay calm. Okay. Hey, you look terrifying, huh? <laughs> he looks kind of terrifying, that's for sure, but, uh... Except for that, just... Go nice and slowly down those stairs. Okay, no. Level 4. dangerous wow oh I don't feel right about this like I see a lot of smoke coming out and all that stuff wow oh wow that's pretty bad okay it's sorry sorry if I'm saying a lot of times uh, pretty bad or pretty much or all that stuff sorry about that but uh let's get inside of this little uh, office uh, can we turn on the light yes we can nice and easy okay so uh, we have a computer and some kind of more papers here so let's maybe try to read them 
Air filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95. 1611, check by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure. Readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stops and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ. Damn. Well, I'm only hearing very bad things about this air, fr uh, this air filtration system or something about that. But it's very important to check your uh, ch check your uh, thingy here. That's everything working there because if you not check that, that's th that that can lead into these problems. Like if you cannot see what is right now going on here, yeah, it's not it's not real great. But okay, uh, let's turn on this very old computer critical fault detected main air filter system status active filter effectiveness 71 percent that's not bad filter broken or obstructed uh replace the filter immediately disconnected pressure and okay disconnect pressure and main valve before continuing backup air filtration system status offline what filter effectiveness zero percent wow that's really bad okay well Let's just exit out of that computer and just fix that straight away because that doesn't sound good. Like, 0% effectiveness, that's really bad. Okay, no, I didn't need to exit out of that. Okay, let me go back here inside because uh, there were also some drawers here that, want, want, that I wanted to look inside here. Okay, and uh, is that a... Oh, yes, that's a collectible. Grab that immediately. So what is this? Okay, there you go, we got that. The engineer. The engineer fixes all the problems down in the scary levels. Okay, well, PJ, you know, P, also PJ sounds very old. Like he sounds like a very old guy, but uh, also he's a very, he sounds like a very nice guy. Accident report, date 12th of August 92, 1910, filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Red level is way too high on output, over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. I thought it was a duff filter. I tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, reseeing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You'll only worry people. Oh, for fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us? Well, I really don't know, man, but, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried right now, like, what I'm right now, okay, no, 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 I didn't mean to read that, but, uh, I'm getting more and more worried what is going on here in this vault, like, I'm only hearing very bad things and also kind of good things at the same time, but, uh, except for that, what do we have to do here, um, I think we have to turn off something here, oh, that's a ladder, uh, can we, can we do something with it, no, but, hang on, yes, main pressure valve, let's turn it off straight away, come on, Go up the ladder and just do it right now because uh, I'm I'm really not liking the sound of what it's right now making here. Okay, I'm gonna fall from the ladder. Okay, there you go. Come on, turn it. This is the boy. Yes. I see. Good job. The sound of quietness. Ah, oh, that's much better. Wow, there was a lot of noise before, but now it's much quieter. Now it can work. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go down back to the ladder, or we're gonna go back down. And, uh, oh, we can go here. Oh, hang on. That looks like... That, is that an air filter? Let me just check on that, because that looks kind of particular. Interesting. Uh, damn, those are some small air filters. If that's an air filter, that's fairly small, but... uh. Uh, what is that? Can we open this? What is this? It's like like some karma kind of uh, door. I don't know, but uh, hang on. What is that? Hang on. Is it it? Is that it? That looks like maybe an air filter. 
maybe something like that. Okay, let's just turn those thingy right. Thingy's my thingy, thingy's my jiggy right here. And uh, also, we have to get prepared because I think we're gonna hear some radiation throughout the the Geiger counter. I think. Oh yeah, I'm hearing it. It's going off like crazy. Look at him, just look at look. Just look at him, just looking at that Geiger counter. Uh, which one do you have to replace? I think this one. This looks like a little bit more worn out. So we're just gonna take that. Just take it out. You can do this. Good job. Let's just take a look at it because I bet there's maybe. Oh wow! Look at those holes. What happened to them? Like maybe some rat just got just eated those pieces off. What happened? And the air filter looks pretty broken. Uh, what do we what do we have to do here with this one? Uh, do we have to do something here? Do we have to dispose of it? Uh, hang on. Can we? Oh, now we can open this. That? What is this? Oh, it's a garbage bin. <laughs> what is like radiation stuff? Okay. <laughs> it literally looks like a garbage bin. Full. Like, looks like a big room where you can throw in like the radiation spare stuff. Filters. Oh yeah. Oh, those are spare filters. Wow, they're pretty small. Also, it reminds me of the sound foaming. Like if you cannot see like the black thing right here, like if you cannot see, it looks like sound foaming for the wall, for like blocking off noise, background noise, and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. But except except for that, now we can we can finally replace this. Um. Let's put on a new one. Come on, just put it inside. Just don't worry. Stop just vibrating all that stuff. Okay, good job. Okay, and now you can just shut the door here and just keep the radiation inside of those air filters. Good job. Turn it. Like yeah, I think you have to turn it all the way. You're not supposed to turn them like this, but uh, okay. I'm just gonna. Leave that, and there you go. We should be good on that for right now. So now we can go back here, and let me check on the computer if we have done the right things here. So we're gonna go here on the computer, and uh, see if we have done uh, if everything is fine here. So analyzing, please wait. Air filter replace. Okay, air filter replace. Reconnecting pressure at the main valve. Okay, well we know how to do that, but okay, that's a good thing that this uh, air filter works, or uh, we have it inside of there. So there you go. We're gonna back. We're gonna go back here. And then we're gonna go back here and just, just turn. We're just gonna move the pressure valve or try to uh, turn this. Oh no, I really don't like the music. Oh no. Oh no, you're gonna fall from that ladder. I'm guessing he's gonna fall from that ladder. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm done. Well, <laughs> please don't fall, please. Just stop freaking out. No way, he just fell. Did he just broke his arm? I think he just broke his arm. I hear I heard something cracking. Oh no, this is so bad. Radiation is also going up there. This is really bad. Come on dude, stand up. There's no time to crying and sleeping here in the middle of a very contaminated or very dangerous place here. Okay, this is really bad. Okay, I'm getting worried. He's coming. Well, that's confirmed. He just broke his arm. Oh no. I really hate that feeling when you break your arm. It hurts so bad and also feels like... Like, it feels like somebody's still like breaking your arm at the same time. But, uh... I think we maybe have to go to the sick bay. Uh... Okay, where do we have to go? Okay, we have to go up here. Okay, come on. No time to waste. Just go up the sick bay. Just go to... Or we maybe have to go to our room and, uh... Fix our arm somehow. Just please. Stop sitting there and just crying. <laughs> I know it hurts, but be a strong man. Like I know from 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 the outside, you look like a very, very not. You look like a floppy man, but inside you're a man. Come on, you can do this. Okay, we almost up there. Come on, you can do this. Okay, where do you have to go? Oh no, we have to click more, 
More buttons. There you go. Nice and easy. Oh, that hurts. Good job. Come on. Okay, I think we're I think we're running towards the sick bay. <laughs> oh, there goes the Garrett Hunter. Oh no, he's gonna show his arm. Oh no. Please, 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 d pl please don't say he just. Actually, that doesn't find. And oh no, he's too. Um, just please roll up your sleeves. I want to see the real extent of your damage because. Uh, don't say that's it. Like, don't say that's his arm just broken. But, like, I see a lot of blood here. Just come on, you can do this. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Like, I'm I'm getting goosebumps. How much? Like, come on, nice and easy. Oh no, that's his bone. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Okay, I think. <laughs> oh no! Poor bastard. Okay, well, I'm gonna pause this here. Like, I just broke his arm while he's working. Like I told, like you don't have to be like. Please don't be on, on a ladder and just like just, just like if your ladder's moving, just please just, just stop working. Like, damn. Like he just broke his arm, and I think we maybe have to fix his arm somehow. But. That's going to be for the next video, like, I'm really getting goosebumps of that injury right there that he has right now. But, except for that, what I'm going to be doing here is end up this video right here. So, it would be amazing if you could give this video a like. It'd be very, very appreciative of you, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!